kind of a get ready with me, kind of a makeup tutorial on my everyday look, kind of a mix of both, kind of me chatting. It's going to be a long video. I don't know what else to tell you, but I hope you guys like it. If you want to find out how I do this every single day, keep on watching. It's also kind of my favorite products because I literally use these products every single day. So yeah, keep on watching. Let's get started. So as you can tell, my face is extremely white compared to the rest of my body. So I do color match to the rest of my body. So I'm all one color. I don't look like a crazy floating head, which is kind of awkward. So I always use Makeup Forever. Well, not always. I just started using this Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the stick foundation. Whew. Let me tell you about this foundation. It is sent from heaven. God came down, was like, I've made this for you. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's so good. So this is how I apply it. I basically, my skin is always clean when I apply it, so I apply it directly onto my skin. Um, I do use a brush sometimes if I want fuller coverage, usually when I'm going out at night. Um, otherwise, during daytime, I just use a sponge. A little more natural, if you will. Natural is not really the word I use when I, when I do my face, but nonetheless, we continue. Just make sure you blend. I feel like having no hair has really introduced me to the world of blending because there are so many angles that people see that you never even knew about that are normally covered by hair and people will call you out. They'll be like, just so you know, behind your ears, it's so white. And you're like, thank you. Awesome. That's so, thank you for telling me now that I am out and about and can't do anything about it as I try and pull my foundation behind my ears. So anyway, maybe it's just me, I don't know. <laughs> so blend, just make sure you blend. Looks good. Looks good, kid. Next, I go in with concealer. I am using the Naked Skin Concealer. Weightless, complete coverage concealer. I would attest to that. This is the best concealer I've ever used. This is my second tube of it. I went through the first one. Actually, the first one took me like five months to go through, so it does last you a long time. And I use Fair Neutral. It is white. This is going to look crazy, but just trust me that this is really what I do every day, and I promise I don't walk around looking crazy. I just popped this on. Okay, so I just use a brush to blend this all out. So after I conceal, I immediately go into setting because I don't want my under eyes to crease. I do use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I recently got this and I've been loving it, which I kind of wish I found something else I love because everybody uses this, but like it's so, it's so good. I don't, I don't know. It's so good. So for under my eyes, I do use a brush and I just pat it on. And then, I don't set my entire face because, like I said, I do have like drier skin. The only place I do set, I pick it up with a sponge and I just go towards my jaw, my jaw? I just go towards my jawline. I have like a lot of texture there. So, if I don't put powder there, then my bronzer will cake up. Like it will start to get like smudgy and like gross. So if I put powder there, then it goes on really smoothly. So that's the reason I powder there. The only other areas that I actually set are my chin because it comes off of my chin around my nose. And then also just the T in my forehead because now it gets oily. I don't know. I'm at a loss. I think your skin changing is just the first thing that starts changing as you get older, amongst so many other things that, you know. So from there, I put on my eye primer, eyeshadow primer, and then I let it set in. While I'm letting it like dry and set, I do my eyebrows. So I use, to prime my eyes every single day, Max 
Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It has worked for me since I was like 21. Like it's amazing. I haven't really tried anything else. I probably should, but it's like when you find something you love and that works really well, you're like, why would I, why would I do anything different? So here we are. So I just popped that on my eyes with my finger. I have a huge problem with creasing, so I found that ever since I started setting my eyeshadow primer with the translucent Laura Mercier powder, it actually stopped creasing like completely. I just pick it up with like a fluffy brush and just pop it all over my eyelid just to set it. And then we get into eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I always use the Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe. I love the color. I've been using this for a minute still. It's been so long that I use this, so. And it has worked for me. So I just take a little bit on the brush. I actually use the lid and I just kind of wipe a bit of it off into the lid. Just so that like when I first go in, it's not like harsh. I'm going to use a little mirror. Because um, this eyebrow, I don't know, you probably can tell. This eyebrow is low. Like it sits low. So I have to fill it in higher. And this one, this one's like the winning eyebrow, you know? Like this one always comes through for me. We all have one of those. So let's do it. Can you believe I just started doing my eyebrows maybe two years ago or a year? Yeah, like two year and a half ago, I just started doing that. Before then, I didn't touch them, which is absolutely crazy to me now. Like, <laughs> I won't even go to the gym without eyebrows on now. Oh, it's crazy. I have just started using, I got a little sample, little baby sample of the Gimme Brow by Benefit and I've actually really been loving it. I, my eyebrow hairs are like always ready to party so I need something that can tame them down and I like how this kind of adds, it, it seems like it adds like hair. That doesn't even make sense but like it adds texture and so it makes your eyebrows look more natural which I mean I guess that's what we're going for as we plaster our eyebrows down and fill them in. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, right? I feel like when my makeup is done and I just have eyebrows on, I literally look crazy. Like at this point in the video, you're like, where is this going? You look crazy. So let's, <laughs> let's continue. First thing I do on my eyes is I actually take my bronzer. I use Bobbi Brown Golden Light. It's amazing, it's such a great color. It's not muddy on your face. It's amazing. So I actually take that on a fluffy brush and I just put it all over my lid as a transition color. Okay, from there I use the exact same palette every single day in my day to day and you can tell it's well loved so don't judge me. I just love it a lot. <laughs> I love it a lot. It's the Morphe, oh, oh, 350 palette. So my lovely husband dropped this. So it kind of looks a little, there's some missing when he dropped it. Some of them broke. It was an emotional time. But anyway, this is the palette. It's so good. I use this every day. If you're looking for an everyday palette with eyeshadows that are literally so pigmented and amazing. Get this, it literally was like $25. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, people. It just doesn't. I go in with these three colors. This one, this one, and this one. I mix them all together. Just kind of add to the transitioning. So I just blend this until my eye is sore. From there, I just take this brush. It's still fluffy, but it's a little bit more tapered. And I take this color. This color right here is so good. So I take that color. It's like a brick color. And I just work it in from the outer corner.
and I just literally go from eye to eye blending. So then I go into these two colors, this one and this one, these two. And I'm just going to add depth, like a little bit more depth to the outer corner. So what I do is I literally bring this from the outer corner and in like a liner almost. And then up. Just defining the outer V a little bit more. And this is an angled fluffy brush. Perfect. Okay. Then I do under my eye, I just take this tiny, this is Real Techniques. Real Techniques brushes are amazing. This is like a tiny, tiny one and it fits under my eye perfectly. So I just go in with the same colors under there as I have been on the top. So I do the same sequence. So I'm going to start with this uh, brick red on the outer corner. And then I just go in with those same two deeper colors. Always wipe away any fallout that might have happened. And luckily that Laura Mercier powder makes that super easy. I'm then going to line my eyes. Wing liner is on. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I do my wing liner, just let me know in the comments below because I do wing liner every single day. Um, I do use the Inglot 77 eyeliner gel if you're wondering. It's amazing. It's probably the best one I found because it is so black and it, midway through the day it doesn't turn that like gray color which I find most gels do that. So that's why I use this one and I love it. So if you want to know how I do that just let me know. Okay so I'm just going to curl my lashes and put mascara on. I use the L'Oreal Carbon Black because it works the best for me. So I do my top and my bottom lashes. You probably can't even tell. <laughs> That's how small my eyelashes are. This is probably gonna be a long video as well. I promise they'll get shorter. Hope you have a snack, girl. Okay, so the next thing I do, I just bronze up with that same bronzer I used on my eyes. I use a fluffy brush for that. I don't contour on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do kind of bronze in that sort of area, if you know what I mean. I have a small forehead, so I don't put too much bronzer up there because I don't, I don't need it to look any smaller, like my eyebrows are at my hairline, you know? I don't contour my nose either. I just put a little bronzer on it so that it's like not all up in there, people's faces. And then we blend some more behind our ears because we're bald. For blush, I'm going to first go in with the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. This blush is like really pretty. So I'm just going to use a blush brush kind of angled one and I just pop this on my cheeks and then over top of that just a tiny bit I just put on some of the NARS orgasm blush I do this because it's I don't find it as pigmented as like the wet and wild one but it does have like a little bit of shimmer gold shimmer that I like so I just pop it on over top but just a little bit we don't need to be we need we don't need to be looking crazy in these streets take another brush this is just kind of a a flat top fluffy brush but it's small and I just blend all of this together you know more blending as if we haven't talked about it enough from there I highlight this is another sad story I do use the Becca 
shimmering skin perfecting in opal. I dropped this. So it was a very sad day as well. I did it though, so it's, I don't know if it's better or worse. So it's a very sad story. I've looked up those videos of like how to put it back together. I'm not, I don't have that much patience. I don't got that much time. I need to get myself a new one. So I just take this e.l.f. brush actually. It's like a tapered, fluffier brush. I love it and I use it for my highlight. Wah! I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so I just pick up a little bit of that and I just put it on the high points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's getting outrageous. I've been sitting here for a long time. It's getting hot, sweaty. I don't want to talk about it. I just take some on my finger and I put it on the tip of my nose like so and then just down between my eyes. And then I just bring whatever is left on my brush up above my eyebrows. Can you, can you, I'm doing my best. Can you see it? Okay, so I'm being extra. Okay, for lips, they're well moisturized and red tea. Now, this is my holy grail lip stuff. This is NYX Liquid Suede. Now, the color of it is gone, which is very sad, but I will do my best to find out what color it is and link it below. But these, I don't know, I shouldn't say these, I've only used this one and it is amazing. I wear this every single day. Every single day I wear this. It's so amazing. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't line my lips. I just pop this on and I go. So let's do it. Okay, so we're done. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked this kind of style of video. If you wanna see more of these kind of get ready with me's, let me know if you wanna see more tutorial side of things, let me know. Let me know what you wanna see. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, bye.